hello people i am bharat acharya welcome to a new lecture so today in c programming we are going to generate your mark sheet yes so what we seen last lecture was working of a two dimensional array if you remember we saw how to declare it how to input values how to process them with those values and how to display that whole array on the screen now that you know how to work with it let's put our knowledge to practical use like i always say What's the point of learning something if you can't show its practical use? If you can't use it in the day-to-day world? So this is how your mark sheet is going to look like. I've taken a sample example. Of course, it, the things may vary slightly, and I'll be happy if they vary because that variance will be handled by you. Once you understand how to generate this, you'll be able to adapt it to your college's mark sheet. You may have the display of your college name, the student name, etc., etc., the way you want it. But the core programming will be pretty much the same. Now, here is how it goes. These are your subjects. You may have the subject titles, or you may have subject one, two, three, four, and just have a key at the bottom saying subject one is microprocessor, subject two is C programming, and so on. Whatever your names of the subjects are. Uh, typical engineering mark sheet, your theory marks, your viva marks, your practical marks, and then your total. I've taken a distribution of eighty, twenty. That is eighty, ten, and ten. You may distribute it the way you want. The calculations will change. The method won't change. All right. So let's say the theory marks are of eighty, the viva marks are out of ten, practical marks are out of ten. All together, the total is hundred. What the teacher will enter are just these values. For every subject, one by one, the teacher will enter the theory, viva, and practical marks in plain text. Once the teacher has entered that, the teacher hits a button, and this whole mark sheet should be generated. What you need to do is display these values correctly at the exact place. Display the totals, which will be first calculated and displayed, so you should know how to work with your array. Once you got that, your grand total, your percentage out of your total marks. Then, from here, you need to identify the subject in which the student is the best in theory. So, his or her best theory subject, which in this case happens to be subject number three. So, subject number three again, like I said, you may write the name of the subject, or you may just write subject three and put a key at the end, showing subject three is so and so, whatever. That's the way you want to present it. If you keep it like this, then it becomes standard and works for every semester. All right, where you just have a key at the bottom. Many mark sheets work like this, where they don't really write the names of the subjects; they just write subject one, two, three, four, and then they have a small key at the end, so that you have a common program for all. Anyway, anyway, so you got to pick up the subject with the best theory subject, with the best viva, which in this case happens to be subject four. You may have multiple subjects. You may choose whether you want to display both names or one. That's your choice. I'm choosing the first one that is encountered with the highest value. Best in practical, so best in practical. So here is subject two, and best overall, which means out of the total, which is the best. So that happens to be subject three. All right. As these marks change, these values, all the values which are in bold, you understand bold font, right? So all the values which are in bold will be calculated by you from your array. This you've seen how to pick up the highest number in a given series. Now you're picking it up from elements of a two D array. So it's going to be a fun program. Now. Are you ready to write the program? This whole lecture, as always, will be there on my website, BharatAcharyaEducation.com. The link is given down below. Click on the link, register yourself as a user. Uh, you will see a lot of courses. I teach a lot of subjects. I identify the course that you want to take. Here, in this case, of course, it's C programming. So click on that C programming course. Click subscribe. Make the payment. As soon as you make the payment, the course becomes active. All right. Hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. We are going ahead.